Hey there everybody, good morning, welcome to this installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host, and I just realized I didn't plug up my microphone this morning. That well, looks like you can hear me alright. We'll get the intro out of the way and then start getting some stuff done. Stay with me. And you ever have one of those mornings, I mean, <laughs> you look down and the microphone's not even plugged up. It's just for show this morning, I guess. <clears throat> hey, um, uh, yeah, no technical difficulties except, you know, the lack of a plug. Good morning, Joe. Thank you for being here. Hey, if you are watching live or on the replay, do what Joe just did. Leave me a comment. Let me know that you're here. Let me know that you're alive. Let me know that there are people out there watching the show. I will appreciate it. Helps you get hooked up to uh, hear from Facebook when it's time for a new update to come out. You won't miss any, any installment of the show. So um, today I want to talk about GSD, getting stuff done. Or, you know, however you want to say that. There are... Uh, two keys. So let me back up and tell a little bit of a story. So uh, I am um, set up here with LinkedIn in a program that they have called ProFinder that helps people find uh, other people to help them with problems. Since I am a problem solver, that's a great place for me to hang out. Over the weekend, holy moly, I don't know what it was, but over the weekend, there was a flood of requests for how do I get stuff done. So, that's what we're going to talk about. I gave them all the same advice, uh, and it's the same advice that I'm going to give you this morning. Hey, Eric, good morning to you, sir. So, here, there are two words. You've probably heard these before, but they bear repeating, and they've got some other ancillary things that go along with them. Two words necessary to get stuff done. Number one is no, K-N-O-W. Know the outcome that you are trying to create. If you don't know what you're trying to get done, how can you get it done? But as simple as that sounds, I bet if you ask people today, you can find somebody that's not really clear on the outcome that they're trying to create. Yet they're working their hiney off Especially if you work in an office somewhere, there will be people there, heads down, with no clue what they're doing. No, they know exactly they know what they're doing. They don't know the outcome that they are working for. How do you even know if you were successful today or not if you don't know the outcome that you are working for? And if you don't, if you don't, then it'd be exactly what this sign says up here on the wall reminds me every day. Stop letting life happen to you and start creating the life you crave. They are letting life happen to them. And I know you're not doing it because you're one of my loyal followers. So tell your friends to stop letting life happen to them and start creating the life they crave. And that starts by knowing what it is that you want. Know, K-N-O-W. That is the first word, the first of two words that are the keys to getting things Done. That's what we're talking about this morning. The second word that is the key operative phrase to getting things done is no. N-O. Say no to the things that don't get you toward the outcome, that don't move you toward the outcome that you know you want to create. It, it's like Bob Newhart said. Stop doing that. And yet, just like the first example, there are tons. You... I. I challenge you to try and not find somebody today who, let's see, how's the right way to say this? It's easy to find people <laughs> who will say yes to everything. It's difficult to find somebody that will say no. So I challenge you to go out and find that person today, the one that will say, no, I can't do that, that's not moving me toward my outcome because most of them don't know the outcome they're trying to create therefore sure why not 
You know, the sad thing, I, I did a quick, I, I kind of go through these two words. I don't kind of, I spend a lot of time on them in the time management class. And I always like to survey the class to find out how many of them believe that emptying their inbox every day is a significant accomplishment. And I would be untruthful if I told you that at least half the group, every time I've given that class, at least half the group has said, Yes, emptying my inbox every day is important. None of them are able to do it, but all of them say it's important. So I give them my number one tip on how to empty your inbox every day. Google or whoever, or Outlook or whoever you use gives you a great tool to help you empty your inbox every day. And it only takes two clicks. Select all, delete. There you go, empty inbox. So if your goal is to have an empty inbox, I can help you do that every day. Now, if the goal is to serve all the people who have been emailing you, well, that's different, right? So you got to be clear on what it is that you, uh, what you want to create, and then be really clear, say no to the things that don't move you in that direction. Brooke says, office life can be unproductive and unrewarding. Holy moly. So why is it, I know why it is, it's a rhetorical question. Why is it that we believe that the most, we can get the most productivity out of people between the hours of 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. by putting them in between these four walls in a fattening pen with a bunch of other people? I have some of my best ideas in the evening, on the weekend, at lunch, in the shower, right? Whoa, this is just a holdover from the industrial age, so that, that's why, but, but Brooke's point is spot on, right, that office life is unproductive, why, because people want to stop and talk to you, people want you to help them accomplish their goals that don't move toward their outcome, because they don't know what it is, their outcome, their desired outcome is to get a raise at the end of the year, to get a bonus, to get another job. They don't know what they're really trying to create. That's one of the problems of working in, oh, it's kind of the way work works today. We've abstracted the worker away from the outcome. They can't see the outcome they're trying to create. There's an endless supply of customer service calls coming in. There's an endless supply of leads if you go through LinkedIn or, or wherever. There's an endless supply of challenges to solve, but none of them serve my purpose. So, as uh, we get ready to wrap up here this morning, I want you to think about those two things. I'm going to give you a whole slew of homework today. Go out and find somebody that knows the outcome they're trying to create, and go out and find somebody that will say no to you. Those are two things. But then for you personally, I want you to take just a minute, write down, a, that's a 4 by 5 but a 3 by 5 card, is, you know, sticky note, whatever works for you, write down the outcome that you're trying to create. Whether it's today, this week, this month, before the end of the year, doesn't matter. Just write it down. Brian Tracy said you are 80% more likely to reach a goal if you just write it down. Okay, that's a simple investment to make. I can do that. But in the 20 years since I heard him say that, it's worked for me. 80% of the time. So write it down. Get your little card, write it down, do what I've done, tape it up to the wall over here, over here, on your monitor. I have to show you sometime. I've got all these little sticky notes stuck to my monitor right here. These are all my reminders every day. And I do, I read them every day. The goal is to do business with people who believe what you believe. That's one one I'm gonna got stuck right there. So number one, know what it is you're trying to create. Number two. Every request that you get today, I want you to evaluate it against that outcome. And when you say no, and here's the other thing that freaks people out about saying no, they think no means no, I'll never do that. It just means I'm not doing it right now. So when you say no, don't say no, go away. Say, um, sorry, I can't help you with that. I'm focused on something else right now. Can I help you with that after 3 o'clock? Can I help you with that on Thursday? Can I help you with that? I mean... Then put them on your schedule. Don't 
don't let them come and dictate your schedule. You put them on your schedule. You stay in control of your schedule. Hey, Glenda. Good morning. Glad to see you here this morning, too. All right, so that's it this morning. No K-N-O-W. No, the outcome that you were trying to create. And two, say no, N-O, to the things that don't move you toward that goal. All right? Try to find somebody that knows their outcome. I bet you'll have a hard time with that. And uh, and if you do, and if you are so bold, I'll, I'll even give you this opportunity. Write that outcome down in the comments. All right? Share it with the world. Put it out there for the... Tell the universe what it is that you want. And uh, Napoleon Hill said this, if you'll tell the universe what you want, it will conspire to give it to you. I don't know, maybe it's just reticular activation, but in one way or another, those things start rolling into you. Put it out there for the world to see. All right, that's it. Wow, 11 minutes already this morning. Woo, I got on a roll. You guys have a great Monday. I'll be here in the morning with uh, 7 minutes in the morning, then the radio show tomorrow morning at 8. And uh, then we'll go from there. You guys have a great Monday. I will talk to you in the morning. Take care.